viewers, welcome back to Mix Mazda Valleys. Well here we are again at the greenhouse so let's go in and have a look. Well, things are looking a bit different, things are coming on, we've had some good success and we've had a few failures this um, July, it's been a bit too warm in this greenhouse. I find it a lot easier to warm a greenhouse up than I do to cool it down. Um, we'll go around, we'll have a look at the plants and we'll have a look what's in bloom, what's in bloom. Um, and we'll have a look at what's in spike and some of the failures that we've had over the, uh, I would say last fortnight, last three weeks here in the greenhouse. So give me a minute, let's get set up and we'll have a look around. At the moment we're looking at my uh, Dracula Chimera. Um, got a few got a few spikes on it as you can see here. Uh, hopefully you can see uh, yeah, where it's clear here. Uh, one at the back. But unfortunately, if we look at this one, yeah the heat got it. The bud's blasted, you can clearly see that. Um, we've got another spike coming out there, so hopefully Shamira might um, perform, but at this moment in time, the heat certainly got it and killed that um, beautiful bloom off. But there's three more, but what I did know is that um, on a few of my Draculas, if you can see closely where my uh, finger is now, say, that's where the bud blasted. And if you look at this, it's put another bud out. It's like extended from the original bud, which I didn't know happened. But it's amazing, really. So hopefully we may well get Shimera to bloom. But I'm sure a lot of people's had problems over the last three to four weeks with the weather. Um, the heat is just an, amazing. But this again... This one was one that the bud blaster dropped off and it's pushed out a second spike. So it really wants to bloom, but can I keep it cool enough? I've kept it down to about 28 in here, but obviously that's not good enough. So we'll move on and we'll go to something else. Again, here's my uh, Dracula Earth Rochette. Had about 12 spikes on. Um, a lovely looking plant. I've got it uh, hiding behind some Spanish moss at the moment. But again, if you clearly see up here, we've got another uh, bud forming. Lower down, if we can see just here near my thumb, you can see where the original bud blasted and it's pushed out further, extended the spike and put out another bloom. And it's doing that on most of them, but um, it's looking all right, really. The plant's doing okay, just that I'm struggling uh, to keep the temperatures down. But hopefully, there's another new spike coming out just here. But hopefully, we might get some um, blooms on it eventually if this weather holds off a little bit longer. But that's about it for that, so I'll move across to something else. Right, I've uh, set the tripod up now uh, to show you a couple of the other problems I've um, acquired over the last few months. This is a cracking um, Mazda Valia. This is a Triangularis. It is a species. Beautiful looking Mazda Valia as far as I'm concerned and lovely plant. But unfortunately See them. Slugs have been at it. I put slug pellets down, but once the damp weather comes, the snails come in, the slugs come in. I'm assuming this is snails actually, because I've seen a couple of trail marks on a couple of the leaves from um, when they're going up. But a beautiful plant, nice green, lush plant, look. And they are nice flowers when they open. But, like every grower, we always have a problem, and unfortunately this time, 
I've got a few slugs. So I'll soon get rid of them. But let's have a look at uh, something else. Right then, this little beauty is a it's a primary cross. It's a cross between Weather CI, Hurt CI, and Aureus. A lovely little plant. I'm sure you can see. Very young. Got another spike coming just here. You can see that just in there. And I've noticed we've got uh, a second bud. If you can see that, if you can get close enough. We've got a second bud coming on the um, first spike. So again, a lovely Mazda Valia. Nice to have in a collection. Nice colours on that. Very little flower though. Not much real interest, just the colours. But yeah, something to share with you. Um, I like how the plant's growing actually, it's really tough to these conditions. Um, we've got a lot of new growth coming here, around here. So yeah, we have got a lot of new growth coming. But let's have a look at something else. See what else we've got in here that's doing okay. Well, this one is my uh, Tovarensis. Um, it is a species. But a lovely little plant, it's only a young division really, I've only had it about a year, but it's the first time blooming for me. Um, again we've got the two bloom spikes coming on the same spike, sorry the two blooms on the same spike. Um, a lovely white, nothing to shout about really, but a nice colour. Second bloom is just about to open, first one's open now. But for a small plant I was quite impressed that it's... Um, even flowered at all this season but you can see here I've got new growth here I've got new growth here so yeah it's doing okay nice little plant pushing on and I'm sure a lot of people have got uh, Tovarensis and it truly is a beautiful little mazzy to have in your collection so let's have a look at something else I've got and see what else we've got in bloom uh, I thought I'd show you this while we were uh, in the greenhouse today. This is one of my uh, Vichiana uh, divisions. You can see that's a division. I took it off my main Vichiana. I've um, got a nice couple of growths coming out there. But we do have another spike coming. Can you see it? A really big spike on it. Now I'm not sure that's going to survive. Uh, any more that heat. Vichyana really do like it cold and I keep it in the north side of the greenhouse. But a nice division, taken off uh, one of my plants, growing it on. I didn't expect uh, this division to bloom but it just shows you when they're ready they'll, they'll put a spike up for you and that is a humongous spike going right up here so we get to the top. So let's just hope Let's just hope that this uh, don't blast. And I'll show you Vichiana probably what we're looking at. Probably a couple of weeks before we get anything on that. Okay, let's move on to something else. Right here I've got my uh, Mazda Valia Coriacea. I mounted this um, a while ago. I'm sure the viewers who follow the channel know that um, watch me mount it. I've got one, two, two new growths coming at the back, another new growth down here, you can see it there look, and she's pushing up a spike, so if we can see, let me try and get the camera angle, so you can actually see the spike, the spike's in here, push it forward a bit, so hopefully Coriacea will be uh, giving us a bloom in the coming weeks but um, I'm quite impressed with that because it has took to the mount not all Mazda Valleys take when you mount them because don't forget some of them especially like Vichiana the cool grower is a terrestrial but I grow it in small bark but not all of them take to the mount but this one seems to have done quite well especially to put a spike up so soon after being mounted so I thought I'd share that with you. 
that's a little beauty we'll have a look at something else well while we're on the mounted orchids uh, Mazzies, I thought I'd show you this one I know Ed's uh, got uh, Pyxis now I know Margaret's certainly got it but I just wanted to show you the blooms are oh, nothing spectacular can you see that on a pie axis but a truly amazing plant um, it's got about five or six uh, I can't get into the camera in there it's got about five or six um, flower buds on it ready to open but again it's taken on this mount it's a, a beautiful Mazda Valia and be good in anybody's collection so that's Mazda Valia Pi Axis. Let's move on. Here we've got uh, another mounted uh, Mazda Valia. This is my um, Pi Viana. I've got uh, two or three Pi Vianas, but this one I mounted. Uh, when did I mount it? Uh, August 18. Um, as you can see, the roots are coming off the mount already. Piviana is a, a spreader, but um, I'll just show you the bloom if I can. I don't know if you're going to see that clear enough. But a lovely little Mazda Valia. We've got another spike um, coming. Let me just get it round. We've got another little spike coming here. I'm sure you can see that. Another little spike down in here. Probably if I turn it around, we've got another one in there. Yeah. So, a lovely Mazda Valia. Likes being mounted, but if you do mount it, be prepared for it to start growing off the mount. Um, when spring comes, I'm going to put this on a bigger mount. It's settled onto the mount, it's really done really well. Um, but unfortunately, it likes to creep along, and it's going to creep along with all them lovely green tip roots so that's Pi Viana let me find you something else to have a look at this one is uh, Shane White it's um, a hybrid it's a hybrid cross between Aquarius and Falcon's Gold um, as you can see this one's blasted um, a nice little division, one of my divisions, I've taken it off the main plant again but um, beautiful little mazzy if you can see there you know and they are beautiful orchids to grow if you can keep the temperatures down if you can't then you're going to struggle, a lot of people keep telling me you know they're loads in Mazda Valley as well you're not on your own, people do lose them with the heat we've currently had it's hard work keeping these uh, greenhouses as, as cool as possible. But I'm sure we'll survive and we keep going because it's our hobby. Um, I'll be cutting this one off now because that's definitely died, blasted. That's not going to do anything this year. So let's have a look for something else. Well, here's a Mazzy that's got a couple of spikes. I've had to stake this one. Because as you can see, it's bending over. I don't want it to uh, to break. But this is a, a species, um, and it's Concinia. Not to get confused with Coccinia, it's a Concinia. I'll try and do a pop-up of this one. It's a first-time bloomer. If we survive the heat we're having at the moment, these two spikes progress. Um, it'll be, a, as I said, first-time bloomer in this greenhouse. So I'd like to look what it's like. But I'll put a pop-up of it so you can see. But again, you can see it's a nice healthy plant. We've got quite a bit of new growth coming here. Down here. And round here. So yeah. Uh, Concinia. That's a nice one. So if you don't uh, know what it is, have a look it up. But as I said... If we can get a pop-up on, I'll definitely put a pop-up on and hopefully we'll be seeing this in bloom in a few weeks all depending on the weather now. Let's look at something else. Look at this beauty. We've seen it before, um, Golden Monarch. It's uh, 
cross between Golden Angel and uh, Mazda Valia Monarch. A lovely looking plant coming on, we've got new growths coming down here. Um, looks healthy enough, doing okay, but only one spike, and it's, it always seems to only have one spike for me. But you've seen it before, but uh, it's in bloom, so I thought I'd share it with you today. Let's get something else down. Right, this little beauty is a query. We've seen it before, it's in bloom again. Nice healthy plant. Uh, not a great deal of new growth at the moment, but it's put a flower spike out. For those who want to know about um, Aquarius, it's uh, a hybrid cross now between Falcon Sunrise and uh, Constrictor. But you've got to say that is a beautiful looking Mazzy. It really is a nice, beautiful Mazzy. I know a lot of people have got Aquarius, but the plant itself is looking healthy. We have got uh, signs of new growth, but they're right at the bottom and only just leaves sprouting out the bottom. I don't think you're going to be able to see that on the, on the pictures. But yeah, Aquarius. Seen it before, but again, it's in my green ass. And if you're a Mazzy lover, you've got to appreciate what I've got. Let's look for something else. I'm sure we'll all recognise this. Good old sugar baby. Um, they're coming into bloom now. This is the first um, spike with a bloom on I've got in this greenhouse. But, you know, you've all seen sugar baby before. But a nice healthy plant. Unfortunately, I've just looked at this one. I've had a slug on a leaf. So... Slugs are definitely in this greenhouse or snails and I've got to get, um, I've got to find out. But yeah, these will all be in bloom shortly. Um, Sugar Baby, I think we've mentioned it before, is a cross between Floribunda and Viciana. But it is a lovely little flower and it, they grow real easy. This is quite um, an impressive plant to have in your collection. I've said that before. I would always tell people to start with one of these because they are, are truly amazing. This greenhouse will be full of these soon because I've got about four plants or four divisions now of this plant. But the plant's looking healthy enough. Um, but I'd like to show you something else that um, I recently bought. I'll be back to you. Give me a minute. This one is um, very similar to Sugar Baby. Somebody sold me this, a Sugar Baby Orange. I don't think that's the true name of it. But with hybrids you never know. But we've got quite a few flowers on it. You can see it's similar to Sugar Baby, but more orangey colour. I quite believe them it could be Sugar Baby Orange, but personally I don't think so. But we've got quite a few flowers on it. And um, a nice healthy plant. Got some old used flower spikes here that have got to be cut off but a nice healthy plant so if anybody does know if this is sugar baby orange I'd appreciate that because as I said it was sold to me sugar baby orange is a hybrid um, whether there's an orange version of sugar baby I don't know but I'll get something else and we'll have a look at something else while the weather's nice and I can do this filming Give me a sec. Here's another one of my uh, Piviana. This one's in a pot. And you can see when I've shown you the mounted one, how the roots. Um, these are really easy to take divisions because you can see where the division is. You can cut it, repot it up, and you've got another Piviana. This one's coming to um, bloom. We've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We've got about nine um, buds on this at the moment on spikes, so that should be a bit of a showstopper. But there again, I always said they all like a climber, they climb out of the pot, they don't like being in a pot. On a mount, they'll climb off a mount, but they are a truly amazing little orchid to have in your collection. Yeah, and this one is just Piviana. We've seen it before, but I just thought I'd share that with you to show you that they're. They're coming on. 
and they're growing well. Well, I thought I'd show you this again. This is my uh, Regania. Um, it is a species mazzy. I tell you what, it's a beautiful plant and lush leaves on it. It's only ever put one spike up um, last year. There's no signs of a spike this year yet, but you've got to agree that is a beautiful set of leaves on that Regania. And if you ever see the flower of this, you'll be truly amazed. Yeah. I repotted this one again in uh, January, February, April 20. So it's been repotted for this season. Just waiting for it to do something. Hopefully, it'll give us a spike in the coming months. Okay, I'll find something else to share with you now. Here's another one we've seen before, but Shane White has got another spike on it with the bud. Um, nice healthy looking plant only got one um, spike this time round but a nice hybrid for you to have in your collection I think this one is uh, Aquarius cross Falcon's gold but yeah I don't think that's going to blast this time but um, we never know this time of year with this uh, weather that we're having um, but yeah that'll be something to show you down the line but it is a, a nice healthy plant I'll try and show you some of the other plants that I've got that's coming on that's really put good growth on this year while we've got the camera set up give me another minute this one's a uh, Pachyanthia um, it's put a humongous growth on this season up to now I mean if you can see in there we'll get the camera we've got new growths all around there um, we've got new growths coming up here. This is another new growth. Uh, there's new growths down here. Yeah, that's Pachanthia. We've seen it in bloom not long ago. But yeah, it's really putting um, some leaves on now and it's looking good. So let's get something else. This is another one of my uh, cool growers. It's mounted. It's uh, Porthalos triboloides. Um, I'll try and get a bit closer. It's in bloom at the moment, but you're not going to see very clearly, I don't think. Can you see? They look like um, little traps. But um, there's a few blooms on it. It's doing okay. And it's grown well in here, so it's flowered nearly every year at the moment it's in flower for probably three or four weeks at a time but they're very dainty little flowers nothing to shout about but as far as I'm concerned it's growing and it's blooming in here so it can stay so what I'm going to do now is um, I'll give you a quick walk around uh, let you have a look at what I've got um, I don't know when this will be posted because my Wi-Fi is playing up at the moment. I don't know if anybody else is suffering the same, but um, our own Wi-Fi has been down uh, a couple of days at the moment. But we have had a lot of water, so I'm assuming that the underground flooding, damage to the uh, poles, telegraph poles, it's going to cause problems for people with broadband. But, um, yeah, Plorothalis, nice little plant. So let me get you down. I'll start off with some of my uh, divisions and let you have a look at them. Here's a second. Right, on this table here, which is um, my old hotbed for when I used to grow chilies, um, these are all my divisions. Um, what I've took off my um, older plants. Some are doing okay, some are doing better than others, some are putting blooms out. But what have we got? We've got sugar babies, we've got Amabilis pink and it's pushing up a, a spike on that young division. Lucinula over there. Uh, Falcata division. Elgins, I think I got that recently off um, a viewer. Yeah, these are all my young divisions that's... Um, being grown on. There's a Plorothalis down there as well growing on. 
yeah, quite a few small divisions, all looking okay. Up above, I've just got um, what I've just shown you, the Plurothallis. I've got another bulbar film there that's um, putting out growth there and putting out growth there. They're looking okay. They're just hanging in there. Here we've got my uh, Mazda Valley Acacia. Um, that's mounted as well. Putting um, new growth out still. Growing down now. Um, let's try and get around the back here so you can see some of the new growths. There's one there uh, near my thumb at the moment. One just in the middle at the front there. If you can see it, if I can get in there to show you. But yeah, case is doing okay. Um, what we've got over here, this is uh, my Cordata. Nice, nice plant, doing okay. No bloom spikes yet. This is another Plorothallis Restrepia. Don't know which one it is. It's never bloomed yet, to be fair, but. Um, it's put a hell of a lot of growth up this season. Uh, what we've got up here, just some more mounted. Uh, that's the uh, case here we mounted together a couple of weeks back. You can see new growth on that coming. That's doing all right. Another mounted Plurothallis up there. That's doing okay. Another mounted uh, Mazzy over here. Yeah, everything's looking okay. Infractor, it's probably going over now, but Infractor's been in bloom quite a while. Some of them's gone over, you can see. Um, some of them's gone over. All double bloomers, all have two blooms on. Um, nice healthy looking plants. Good old, he's always in bloom. Is the Inca Prince. Inca Prince always chucks things up. But we've got a lot. Um, I recently had to replace my uh, Barliana. Uh, I lost Barliana. That was my own fault. Um, it was too high up. It really needed to be a bit cooler. But um, what have we got next to it? Next to it I've got uh, Gargantia. That's a nice big healthy plant coming on. Then moving along I've got uh, Sunset Jaguar. Sunset Jaguar is a big healthy plant. I'm going to uh, divide that as soon as possible. It flowered early in the season so it's ready to be divided up. Something else I can swap with somebody else for something else. But yeah, I've got another Selfie Orion. Well, it's not quite open yet, but it's just put a spike up there, look. Ready for us to look at what we've got over there. I've got um, Rosemary just putting a, a one spike up, open one bloom, and one's gone back. These are some of my Draculas, Deltoides, uh, Venifica, Dracula Venifica. Felix, Dracula Felix, that's a nice healthy looking plant. Uh, Polyphemus, Polyphemus is doing okay, not put anything, not for any spikes out yet. Another Inca Prince, we've seen most of these today. Um, what we've got here is another Dracula, uh, these are small divisions, this one is uh, Bowery Eye. It's coming on a bit. This one is um, this is the bigger plant, Barry Eye. Looking okay. This is a small division of Cordobe. I took it early on in the year, and another Cordobe, which I've took divisions off. Still got everything uh, growing. Got a few dead ones on there. Let's have a look down here. This is the coolest side of the greenhouse. I really keep a lot of the cooler ones on here. That's a nice hybrid. But these are all what like it cool. 
especially Vitriana. Uh, Copper Wing Division is down there. Amabilis Pink pushing up another spike. You can just see that probably. Um, another Plurothallis here that's been in this basket for months now. I think that was called uh, Mastodon. Yeah, I've seen that before. Another Mazzy. Uh, some more Mazzies coming on. My uh, and Chris starter putting a lot of new growths up. It likes it up there. Another, um, I think that's Bulbophyllum. Yeah, a lot coming on. Good old Fogger. That's been a godsend these last few weeks. I've even got some down here because I can't get them all on the shelves. But yeah, doing okay apart from that weather. Um, up the centre I've got some more uh, Draculas. I can't get these down at the moment, but you've got Venifica, Dracula Venifica, then Vlad Tapis, which is um, up here. Then I've got, uh, which one's this? I think it's uh, Van Vampyra. That's Vampyra growing out of the pot really. When I when I have to cut this now, I'm going to have to cut the pot to divide this. All the new growths are coming through the side of the pot. Uh, then I've got uh, Dracula Citrina. That's doing okay. That's up there. Look, uh, get up there. Get past that if you can. Then I've got uh, Dracula Bella up here. Now a lot of people's got Bella. But they aren't doing a great deal. So yeah, it's looking looking okay. I hope all the other growers uh, have had reasonable success this season because I know it has been bad with the heat. And don't let's kid yourself on that. None of us can. I've tried to keep temperatures down best I can to 28. On a couple of occasions we went over 28. I think we went to 31, 32. And it certainly caused me problems. I just hope it hasn't caused anybody else any problems. But yeah, I think I'll call it a day on this one now. Um, there's not a lot more to show you. I'll try and show you more when it's all in bloom. Um, for all the um, carnivorous growers who watch my carnivorous plants, I'll just give a quick look at my... Um, Nepenthes, which is uh, the biggest one I've got is here, Fusca, and Fusca grows right up um, into the ceiling. Here I've got uh, Sanguinea, it's got some lovely big um, pods on it at the moment, pictures on that. That's another Bulbo that's doing okay, it's been up there for months now and just keeps pushing out new growths. Never flowered but hopefully one year it might do. So what have we got Nepenthes wise? We've got one here that's looking pretty decent. Some of the pictures look a bit uh, odd shaped to me but they're okay. This is Nepenthes Bill Bailey. Nice little pictures, all lower pictures, not nothing spectacular. Still growing. I'm misting these every morning. I know some people don't believe it, but uh, believe in it. But I mist every morning to keep these new pictures um, moist, so that they open okay. That's uh, Ventrata. Oh, Ventricosa. Sorry, that one. Ventricosa. This one is a uh, Spectabilis cross tan talangensis, I believe. And this has some. The peristomes are looking pretty good at the moment, the colours, but as again, they're all lower pictures, but it's a nice Nepenthes and it's looking pretty good at the moment. This one is my um, Bill Bailey, I've seen it before, but 
I'll try and get to look at the post dome on that. Amazing. Amazing the Penthes are. Oh. And finally, another Ventrata. These all down here are just some of the divisions I've taken off my Nepenthes um, to let them grow on. And eventually I'll put them, hang them up, but at this moment in time they're down here. Well, that's about it, viewers, at the moment. Um, there's not a lot more I can show you. Um, oh, I'll just tell you this. I bought Isabel Kirkwood. Um, this one is a hybrid off uh, of eBay about a year ago. It's been in a terrible state. It always has these horrible brown marks on the leaves on both. So I split the plant. I've now got a new growth on this side and a new growth on this side. So I'm hoping now it'll perform and it might turn into a nice plant. Otherwise it's going to get binned. I'm not wasting my time on it. I keep trying to make them grow if they've got a bacterial infection or disease when I got them. So that's just the final view round. Let you have a look at um, what's happening in here. I hope you enjoy these videos. I enjoy doing them. You know, I just love Mazda Valleys. And I love watching other channels. I recently watched Lynn's channel and she's got um, a beautiful Dracula at the moment. Um, Chester Tony Eye. And I'm going to get one. Definitely going to get one. But um, thanks for watching. If you're interested in Mazda Valleys, please subscribe. I could do with the viewers. It makes this worthwhile doing. I mean, we're up to about 620 odd at the moment. But um, even if you just come and have a look in now and again, please subscribe, hit the like button. It don't do any harm just to hit the like button, does it? And for all the people, the recent people who have subscribed, thank you very much. You're really most welcome. So until next time, we'll finish off. I'll just leave you with Golden Monarch. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.